Welcome to St. Mark's Lutheran Church. We're so glad to have you here. I know many of you are parents or grandparents of these children, and we're so glad that you have entrusted them to us and have given us the opportunity and the privilege of sharing Jesus' love with them. And hopefully they will someday in turn share that love with other people. Our opening hymn is hymn 379. It is a processional hymn, so I'm going to ask you at this time to please rise.
So apparently I was supposed to do the part of the leader, so I'm going to do that now since I skipped over it before. So, so that we can get back on schedule, if you turn in your bulletin to the first page there where it says responsive reading. He came as a baby in a manger. He came to be our Savior. With joy and gladness. He comes to us each day in his word of promise. Let us open our hearts to him. He will come to take us to himself in heaven. Hark the Herald Angels Sing was written by Charles Wesley in 1739. This beloved hymn is, con is a condensed lesson of Christian doctrine written in poetry form. Let us look. Hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn king, peace on earth and mercy mild. The opening three phrases of Hark the Herald Angels Sing are supported by the account of the angel's announcement to the shepherds of Jesus' birth in Luke 2, 8 through 15. And in the same region there were shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were filled with great fear. And the angel said to them, Fear not, behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And that will be a sign for you, you will find a baby wrapped in swaddling cloths and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest on earth. When the angels went away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Jesus Christ's birth in Bethlehem is foretold to the Hebrew nation in Micah 5, 2. But you, O Bethlehem, Ephratah, who are too little to be among the clans of Judah, for you shall come forth to me. One is to among the be ruler in Israel, whose coming forth is from of old, from ancient days. As we continue through the first stanza, Wesley incorporates law and gospel into the song. God and sinners reconciled. In Romans 5, 6 through 11, Paul tells of our reconciliation when he says, For while we are still weak, at the right time Christ died for the ungodly, for one who will scarcely die for a righteous person, though perhaps for a good person one would still dare even to die. But God shows his love for us in that while we are still sinners, Christ died for us. Since, therefore, we have now been justified by his blood, much more shall we be saved by him from the wrath of God. 
For if while we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his son, much more now that we are reconciled, shall we be saved by his life. More than that, we also rejoice in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we now have received reconciliation. Thank you. 
Isaiah speaks of the Christ's virgin birth in Isaiah 7.14. There, for behold, the Lord himself will give you a sign. Behind the virgin, behind the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. In Luke 1.26-38 and 2.1-7, we see the story unfold. Sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to the, a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was, name was Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, O favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at the saying and tried to discern what sort of greeting this might be. And the angel said to her, do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and be called Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give to him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there will be no end. How can this be since I am a virgin? The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, your relative Elizabeth, in her old age, is also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month with her, who was called barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. Behold, I am the servant of the Lord. Let it be to me according to his word. And the angel departed from her. Wow. 
In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world sh should be registered. This was the first registration when Quirinius was governor of Syria, and all went to be registered, each to his own town. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David to be registered with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. And while they were there, the time came for her to give birth, and she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for him in the inn. Jesus our man now. The Gospel of John declares Jesus' divinity and humanity. John chapter 1, uh, verse 1 through 2. Fourteen states, in the beginning was the word Jesus, and the word was with God, and the word was God. He was in the beginning with God. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have seen His glory, glory as the Son from the Father, full of grace and truth. The name given to the Holy Child shall be named Emmanuel. Behold, the virgin shall conceive a bear, a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which means God with us.
Mary saw the angel. First she was afraid. She listened very carefully to what the angel said. You will have a baby. Jesus, God's own son. He will be the savior sent for everyone. Mary then was happy. Are you happy too? God you see sent Jesus down to earth for you. called the Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Malachi chapter 4 verse 2 recounts the Lord's words to the faithful. But for you who fear my name, the Son of Righteousness shall rise with healing in its wings. 
you shall go out leaping like calves from the stall. Light and life to all he brings, risen with healing in his wings.
Would you please pray with me? We pray. Father in heaven, thank you for sending us your Son and our Savior, Jesus. Thank you for all you have done and continue to do for us in his name. For forgiveness of sins and for joy, peace, hope, and all spiritual blessings, we give you thanks. Fill our hearts with love for you and others. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. As soon as we are all done here, we have a meal prepared for you in the fellowship hall that you are all invited to go to. Um, so first I'm going to say table grace, and then I'll dismiss you with the benediction. Please uh, join me in prayer. Gracious Heavenly Father, you open your hand and you satisfy the, the needs of all living things. You especially provide us with all that we need to support this body and life. As we depart from this sanctuary and go into the fellowship hall to receive the blessings of food and drink that you provide for us, we ask, O oh Lord, that you would use them to strengthen our bodies, nourish us, and prepare us for greater service in your kingdom. Thank you for all of the hands who have helped provide it for us this day. And we ask that as we remember them, we ultimately remember and give thanks for you, the giver of all good things. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon with his favor and give to you his peace. Amen. Would you like them to stand for the recessional? Please stand for the recessional hymn, Joy to the World. The children will sing verse 1, and we will sing verses 2, 3, and 4.